Hello MechWarriors, how's it going? And welcome to another episode of MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. And guys, I did a thing. I did a bit of spring cleaning and all of a sudden we have 116 million Seabills in our coffers. I just dropped everything that was in a sphere. I just kept the clan stuff and we are basically here to build a thing, right? We are going to optimize our friend the boar's head. I want to get some laser weapons on the battlefield today and this guy is really good for it because it's really quirked for it. So let's take a look at that guy. We have 97 tons here out of 100, which means currently this build is far from being optimized. And yes, we could just drop the XXL gyro, get to 100 tons, and I don't know, put the mobility gyro in, get extra speed, which is always appreciated. But then, then what? It, it doesn't still do a lot of things. I have an MRM30, but only tier 2 and the 10 tons here. I feel like they could be better invested. So, an option, hear me out, guys, an option would be... Uh, to take 10 tons of an LB-10 autocannon instead of the MRMs and put it in here. Plus, a double bit of ammo, bam, we are good to go. We have a very good heat management, but I think we can make it better. I think we there's more. There is definitely more to it. Um, first of all, this laser is a tier 3. It wants to be upgraded to a tier... Four. Where is it? 4. Right, to make better already. On top of it, I think our friend the boar's head definitely wants a bit more mobility to get to the front line and here it's getting kind of tricky because i want to get a bigger engine in the mech the bigger engine is going to be the 381 with the 381 we have to drop the lb10 autocannon because it's now too heavy but we can use our heavy lasers more often because we will be in our optimal range a bit more often and we still have some room to work with so what about we get a very light weapon back um, a very light weapon would, for example, be an SRM-6. But that thing is a little bit lousy in terms of damage output. So my idea was to take that LRM-20, and now we are over tonnage. A double bin of ammo, and we're gonna put this double heatsink here. Um, we're gonna drop the proto, don't think we need it. And actually, in order to make it real good, we're gonna put regular double heatsinks in the mech. In a sphere ones, because they don't take... Uh, they only take one slot, so it doesn't matter if we put a three slot or two slot items into the engine. We gotta better keep our clan double heat sinks around for external usage. So, that being said, I think this amount of heat management is perfectly fine. 3.3 to 2.6, we should be fine because we will not always be firing our weapons. And that means we are okay to take endo? No, we have to drop the heat bank and then take endo. That's it. All right. So now we are at 97 again. It doesn't feel great, right? I know I only have endo, uh, like regular inner sphere endo. If I had the clan version of it, I would have seven extra slots to work with. So my goal right now is to find it and then build it into the mech. And then we can do some more shenanigans. That's the plan. Primitive our cockpit is not a thing I want. I think this is fine. If needed, by the way, we can uh, change these weapon mounts, which currently give us cooldown, to weapon mount heat, which give us better heat management for these arms. This is kind of where I want to be. Also, targeting computer Nova could be something... Hmm... Nothing. No, 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 it's fine. So we still maintain a good chunk of DPS here. This is 6.5 damage per second compared to the MRM that we just dropped, which is, I think, in the same bracket. Where is my MRM? Why do I not see an MRM here? Am I blind? I might be blind. There it is. Okay. 7.9. So we're not losing too much and we can engage earlier. So that's great. So 75 days, 3 million C bills. Sure. I'm going to do that. This guy wants to be fast. It wants to be on the front line. Then there's also the argument for advanced tactical missiles compared to the streak missiles that we are currently running on the streak boat. So what about that? Shall we change it already? I kind of also want to explore regular SRMs, but we don't have that many. We have four fours of a good state. We have one six, which is okay. But then we also have two ATM nine tier four, one tier three, and then there's one ATM 12 tier one. Difficult, very, very difficult. Check it out real quick. It's nice, it's really nice to have that much money to work with. Money is a good tool, so... 
This is already taking all of our slots. We also want to probably keep the mask. Do we want to keep the mask around? Not necessarily, honestly. We can drop the mask. Get a 12 in here. Okay. The streak am out of here. Cooling is 4, heat build up is 4.5, so we are horribly overcooling right now. For armor for less damage taken, spore liner for less damage taken. I don't know about that. I feel like. I give it another double heat sink on that side. What about that? And double right here. So now we have 4.5 to 3.4. It's alright, I guess. It's alright. The thing is, we also need ammunition. We only have single bins currently. How would you manage a build like that? Is, is, is this the amount? I want to keep the supercharger. The thing is, ATMs deal 3 damage per missile up to 300 meters, 2 damage per missile up to 600 meters, and 1 damage per missile beyond 600 meters. So, there's also a minimum range of 120, that's good to know. And it has built-in Artemis for tighter spread, which is incredibly good. With that being said, I believe we also want the advanced missile battle computer. This one here. For a better spread radius and better and faster lock-on time. We'll take that and now our heat management is going nuts. That means we gotta get these doubles back in. There we go. Alrighty. Click that max armor button. We are at two and a half tons under. Yet again, not optimal, but I feel like this is okay. We have a thousand meters range sensor. Okay. I wish this was an ATM-9, honestly. Saving some more weight, maybe upgrading the engine a bit and, uh, you know, streamlining the mech. But again, this is also a mech that I want to test, that I want to try out, and I feel like we should be fine. We have a radical heatsink kit, so we're gonna get some extra cooling as soon as we pass the big threshold. Okay, we're gonna check ATMs, we're gonna check lasers today. Uh, and that's the plan, so let's go ahead. Find a nice planet where we can play against the clans, I would say. Garrison duty, sure. Let's go there, set the course. And here's the cool thing. We can spend some time now because uh, we have rebuilt max. It'll take some time until they are ready. And as a result, we're gonna advance the timeline and we might find better things in the stores later. Kill catapult C4, not gonna happen. Kill ground vehicles of the random var variety. That's gonna happen. Go check the black market. Maybe there's something. But black market usually gives you low tier stuff. Even if there is an item that you value, it's usually low tier. Uh, I wanted to see if they have ATM double bin. They don't have that. They're obviously more efficient. Nope. Stick and peel is not bad. You see a little bit of self-repair. Tiny amounts of self-repair. You invest a slot and 0.1 ton. It's like Harshal of the Quicksell variety. Reinforced structure. 10 tons weight penalty, but you get double the structure. I would always value armor more than structure, but if you have a little bit of extra weight, 10 tons to be specific. Oh. That's for 100 tonner, right? I think on a 90 tonner it would weigh 9 tons, and on an 80 tonner, 8, eight tons, right? I don't know how that works. 10 tons is definitely not fixed. Doesn't matter, I don't buy it. I am going to... Yeah, I'm gonna play that. Let's go and try to find better weapon the systems. Really up, Good! So, Your first mission of the day. We are there. playing, I would say, the Marauder. That thing feels interesting. This one? Yeah, it's still being worked on, but that's alright. Now we have 400 out of 400. And we also have the laser bore on the... On the battlefield. Cool. Zip. Over here. Does the pilot matter? Maybe. Over there. You want to learn missiles. That's for sure. Missiles and energy. Alright. Let's get it going. So we are going in with unoptimized builds. But they are still pretty strong because we have high tier weapons and good equipment in the mech. So I wouldn't consider this a bad thing. Even if we are under tonnage. But I would consider it to be upgrade worthy. <laughs> There is still a little bit of uh, of headspace. Here we go. Enemy 
forces converging on the urban outpost marked on your tactical display. Mm -hmm. We are the only hope these people have, Commander. We are the only let's hope, can Obi Wan do. Kenobi. Okay, let's go. Let's do it then. Lights on. I still have a supercharger here because I want to juggle my minimum distance the best way I can. You want to be between 120 and 300 meters in order to deal three damage per missile. And when we think about it, our alpha strike is what now? We have 39 missiles that we shoot, right? Three ATM-9s is 27 plus 12 is 39. Which means... We, we, we deal 100 damage, roughly? We get into our desired position? With Artemis, which should cluster quite well. A treasure to pick up. Uh, I care about that. There's a treasure again. There's a treasure. Okay, we're gonna take that. Because we can. Right. Take this real quick. We also have 1,200 missiles. I don't know if that's gonna be enough or not. So here's our first target. 300 meters. We're gonna wait. Now we shoot. Okay, it's just a Jenner, but still. He went down like nothing. Okay, 300, let's get in here. Mm, is he in cover? Nah. I mean, he is technically. The trees provide the cover that he wants. I'm gonna say ceasefire for everybody, because, because I wanna see what's happening. Lee, shoot those tanks, please. That's fine. So, what about arc it's always a low arc okay so they won't travel high not like lrms which would have traveled above the little rock here this might be enough no it's not enough question is can we crack that tank it's avoiding us come on oh yeah so as i was saying i want my people to attack the carrier so i can go over here and attack the dervish Bit of a medium range shot. But look at this. Look at the leg damage they took. It could be that they were just in the process of jumping. Oh, whoopsie. Okay. Yeah, I, I shred the base. The trees are a problem. Oh, okay. That's not a problem for sure. Okay, let's go for the dervish again. Get out of the tree line. Man, I like the damage output. Look at this. It's very splashy still. Heat management is not one of our concerns, by the way. And that's probably because we are in a rainforest area, right? We have a lot of cooling, natural cooling around us. Down goes that guy. So, 300 meters again. Ooh, I like ATMs. I really do like ATMs. Now we're getting a bit hotter. Now we are constantly firing. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Give me more. Uh, all right. I realize the thing right now. Do you realize it as well? My ammo count is really low all of a sudden. We blasted half of our ammo into the landscape already. I mean, that's partly on me because I was firing into the forest. What can you do, right? We had to ref at the right. But then, uh, yeah, I just said we have 1,200 missiles. Now I have like 600, which is half of it. Let's make better use of it. You're right behind me now. You are not. Easy. Where are you? If they underrun me, I'm in trouble. If they don't... <laughs> Man, again, that 120 meters range that we need to juggle... Oh, interesting. Maybe I shouldn't shoot Alpha Strike all the time. Maybe a good old chain fire or group fire is the way to go here. Let's take the tank apart. Let's go. I like her enthusiasm. It's really good. So we need more ammo, that's for sure. How do we manage this whole thing? Ooh, there's an assault mech. Uh, that's really good. I sent you over here, guys. I'm not gonna go for that guy. Hopefully, I'm not getting killed. Another ATM, possibly, to salvage from the Savage Wolf. 300 meters, we stop here, go all in. I mean, it's not the strength of a what clan PPC Alpha Strike pinpoint damage to the center 
blowing him down. Still good enough. Down he goes. Down to 300 missiles. Eh. That doesn't work. I want to go for the assault mag. Let's see what we can do against him. Behind cover. That's a tank. Bam. These tanks have AMS, by the way, so they will try to intercept my missiles big time. Not a good shot. Ammo low. Yeah, man, I can. I need to really learn the arc. Oh, now we have a problem. Minimum range it is. Good zip. Got him. Alright. So... Yeah, all right. You'll take that for me. Ah, go there. Take the tank. I'll take the Marauder. So, here he comes. 200 meters. And... Rip. Oh, the legging. I love it. I'm gonna shoot another one, because I can. So, 168 left. We have eight enemies to kill. Some of them are mechs. I believe some of them will be tanks. An adder with two ear PPCs. Clan light mechs are no joke, man. These things are filled with guns. Insane. See, I really don't want to shoot at range. Because I want to conserve my ammo. Ace is getting wrecked. Let's take care of the adder. Hello, little guy. How about you, huh? What are you up to? What's that? It's kind of awkward. As soon as they are behind a little bit of foliage, it takes all of the missiles away. Huh? 12 shots left. Ammo depleted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. Okay, so... As I was saying, I think we need to rebalance the whole situation here. Also, I need cover, please. Thank you, friends. Attack. Please. Thank you. Okay. Now, I am... Um, we have some fun with the Dire Wolf. Why not? Tenant Colonel. Taking him. Wherever his legs are. Up, up, up. All right, we got him. Yeah, the jam chance, by the way, has been fixed. So, that's the good news. We can now actually shoot multiple times without instantly jamming. What do we have here? Four enemies. Yeah, all four of them coming towards us right now. And we need to cut all of this away. Oh, yes! I like it. I like it a lot. Side also gone. And the laser beams and the center torso. Everything's gone, everybody. I think my dire wolf is now a pretty good asset. He is strong, but he can be stronger. The regular medium lasers and the ultra auto cannon fives could be clan versions. I think there is there's more to it that we can change here. So let's see if we can hit the big boy in the snoot. E Z. Jammed after the shots, but totally fine. Yeah, it was a good fight. It was a good test run. We learned two things. First of all, ATMs are actually quite good. I like them. I really do like them. I want to have a dedicated ATM carrier now. And we don't have enough ammo. That's the second thing. Let's check out the laser build as well. I want to see how far we can go with this. But I still believe we can do way better. We need plan endosteel. That's the thing that I want to find. So here's what we get, potentially. Dire Wolf A part. I don't care, but that's an ATM 9 tier 3. I'll take that, totally. These LRMs are also extremely good. They are large poles. Don't know if they are good or not. The damage output is quite meager for only 3.5 per second. They have a good range, sure. We can engage early with them. 885 meters is really good. We can fire off with them. Heat per second is 1.1. I mean, that's alright. Yeah, that's an LRM 15. Heavy medium, ear medium, modular targeting computer, medium pulse plan, 
It's streak. Huh. It's streak four. Time two. Times two even. Really tough. Really tough. We don't have the most picks in the world because of the faction that we were playing for and the Curitans don't really like us. However, are these LRM20s a thing? I would say no here. I would rather take... These are they not possible to pick. Only one of them is. Then we have eight picks left, which is very awkward to pick. 20s. Oh, 15s are better than 20s. They are more efficient. I think it means we want to take the 15, and it is actually eight picks. So we take a 15, an LRM 15, an ATM 9, and an Ultra Auto Cannon 10. Sure. I think this is as good as it gets right now. Here's the thing. I believe... I believe we can do nothing. Ah. Okay, fine. So. This guy needs repairs and rebuilds. I don't think I'm gonna run this anytime soon. Uh, King Crab. Give me a second. Maybe we change the gun here. Never mind, all of them are already tier 4. We wanna upgrade them to tier 5. We need 6. 6 Ultra Auto Cannon 10 tier 4. To upgrade them to tier 5. It's always one more than... The desired upgrade, right? So five goes six. We need six of the tier fours. Um, currently, we don't have that. We would have five. I guess that's uh, good, as good as it gets then. Fine. So, quick repair. Let's start the work. And I wanna, I wanna revisit the dire wolf at some point. But I also want to check out Mr. Boar's head. The question is, do we need the mask here? Do we need the supercharge? I don't know. Is it fast enough? That's the question. Is it fast enough to get to its desired spot? We're going to figure out the Scorched Earth attack against the clans again. But this time for the independents, which they, they like us. They like us so much, they will give us all the salvage rights. Let's go. This one. Hell yeah. Give me all of it and a bit of money. Very, very good. Um, you are taking another mecha, I would say. You will take whatever. Energy and or missile. Let's take the awesome. I know I'm not doing the thing uh, that is probably recommended, which is giving a specific pilot a specific signature mech and, you know, training them with them. I just want to train their general... Um, their general skill set right now. I want to max them out in everything. And this is why I'm swapping them around between different mechs, depending on what they can still learn and whatnot. But yeah, having a dedicated mech that does a certain thing with its pilot uh, is really good because he gets some tremendous bonuses over the time. However, don't know where the cap is yet. So is it a 10% bonus to sensor range and everything? Or is it like 50% that you can get? Who knows? I don't. Not yet, at the very least. Okay. So we will directly jump over to the boar's head. This is my goal for the moment. I want to check this out. I want to see how hot it gets. I want to see how damage, how much damage it can do. How quickly it can do. How fast it is going to be. If it's getting into its desired combat range or not. All of these things. Oh, artillery, you say? That's okay. Do it. I'm gonna stay here for a sec. All right, now we go. So we are here to attack. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's turn the lights on. And I think it makes some sense. A sec, weapon group. Uh, it makes some sense to actually destroy some of these batteries while we are moving in, right? Look at the minimap. We have like three, maybe four that we can take while we are moving to the center of the map. Okay. So far they are not bothering us. They might be completely focused on the drop ship. If I see that correctly. Okay. Push, 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 push. Right? We got that going for us. Still seems to be something here. Now it's gone. Interesting. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, this one definitely. This is not an artillery battery, right? No. Yeah, they are still shooting. They are still shooting, but not... Go away. <laughs> not at us. Right. And I feel like... Cannot hit anything over there. We're gonna go now. Alright, let's crush that base. Hit mask as much as possible. There it is. Right, another one down. Perfect. So, how long do we actually take? Take this base down? I don't know. We'll see. We can use the missiles early. We are my friends. Oh, guys! I am. Um, I need you. Hello? I should also take care of the mechs instead of the buildings now. Okay, so missiles are one. 900 meters, totally doable. Tank. Hang up. So, now we're here. I need to go. Group fire. Cutting that thing open like it's nothing. Like a hot knife through end of steel. Okay, that was good. Friends, you coming please? I need you. Thank you. There's a Phoenix Hawk with ultra auto cannons. I know I'm, I'm shooting my. Oops. Shooting my medium pulse lasers too often right now. Yeah. It's fine. Ish. That was not bad. I've got it ranged. That was not bad at all. I like that I can direct the damage with my mouse like that. Okay. I mean, the little guys, they have amazing hitboxes. Especially these commandos. But yeah, it's kind of working. Heavy lasers it is, huh? Yeah, let's go in here. 77% already. Um, there will be stuff attacking us from the sidelines. Down. Yeah, we go. So where's the turret? I think I stomped on it. And we got some combat vehicles rolling in. Perfect. So, now. Now it's chain fire time. Absolutely. We want to destroy everything here at range. And these lasers are quite good for it. So we can just hit scan these buildings and they are dropping structures. Like it's nothing. Perfect. Yeah, easy. Super easy. And we don't have any heat problems whatsoever, by the way. Love it. There's a dropship right behind us. Okay. Yeah, don't even care. I can continue wrecking everything because heat is not an issue. Who it on, however, is. So, make a gap here. Yep. And then we're gonna destroy whatever is coming down from there. A heavy, large laser hunchback. I see. You are also a friend of the energy quest. Okay, take this one. Right through the center. It's insanely good, actually. Take the walls down. And that was a little bit too late. Alright, let's keep going. Satellite dishes are worth a little bit, so we'll take them as well. Down to 6%. Almost got it. So technically we can just raise these walls and then we can go home. So here's the thing. I didn't use my mask so often. I feel like I should probably drop it. For the sake of more weapon systems. Out of range now. That might also be because of the mission. Because we were fighting within a very confined space for a while. Hmm. I don't know. I like the general mobility that the mech provides. 95 kph. Sure, it's not always that, because at some point we will get into our red zone and then we have to be... Yeah, we have to be running 64. Still good enough. Absolutely. What I want is a bigger support weapon. A single LRM-20. I mean, it's an LRM-20, don't get me wrong, but I want more. It's wrong. I can totally see a big ballistic in combination with what we got here. Like something, like an ultra auto cannon. 20. I will not take it though. I will not. We have a tier 4 20. I don't need another tier 3. Who is running these, by the way? 
The Hunchy? Oh yeah, the Hunchy. So clan double heatsink kit, not necessary. ATM-6, it's a tier 1 weapon, I'm gonna stay away from that. I will take mech parts, I think. Yeah, let's build some things. Here's the thing, I wanna still get an XL clan engine and endo steel, but I don't know if I can take endo steel out of the uh, hunch bot. So we'll check it out. I'll take some parts here, as many as possible. And then try to combine these parts in order to get the value that I, I'm seeking right now. Then seven picks for an ATM. <laughs> this is better than nothing. This commando also runs endo. It's a bottleneck right now, so I'm taking it. It's what I need, it's what I want. Good! So we have two decent mechs. But do we settle with decent? I would say no. Do not do that. In order to get more stuff out, or in actually, what do we need? We can play the mission against Wrestlehawk here. At Hagu? Hmm. But who cares about him, right? Battlefield. A duel. Uh. There's another. Oh, it's a battleground. Yeah, let's go there. That is gonna be our loot pinata. Love it. There's gonna be so much clan salvage on the battlefield that we're gonna get everything we want. Resource mission. It is sad that I should play all of them. I got the hint that there's generally good stuff to find there. Well, there's this endgame resource. Is it this? No, this is resource exploration, correct? Ah! Ah, endgame rescue. Rescue resource. All the same, right? If I play it, I can only get very little here. I'm not gonna play this. But this might be a thing. Sure. So, what we want to do now is we want to get our best mechs on the battlefield to kill as efficiently as possible. Get all the salvage, all the money, and you know, we are still at 100. Definitely the pretty baby. Repair this first. Could have done it while flying. Okay. So I want the arrow mech back. This guy will rebuild in a bigger manner. Yeah. I'm not gonna touch on it yet. So, awesome is good. Arapes is uh, kind of, I think, good as well. Force head. Well, it's okay. I feel like we want our arrow mech. Let's get this one here. It says exceptional. What does that mean? Is it how good you are with it? Oh, you are. Okay. And this is the thing. You can see the current effects list there. It says 10% sensor range, 10% acceleration, deceleration, torso twist, arm twist, lock retention, and lock break time. It is... Nothing... Great? It's good to have, but it's nothing game-breaking, I would say. I wish there was something like cooldown, heat efficiency, and stuff like that. But, you know, it's, it's still okay. Um, so we have some indirect firing mechs. We have our awesome that I will play. I think... I think this is fine. Let's go in. It's some nonsense on the battlefield here. <laughs> I mean, we have lots of auto cannons. We have PPCs. Our, I think our snapfire should be very strong. Being able to just instantly take enemies out if I direct my, my lance mates to them and they instantly fire because they have like no lock on time. Then we should be able to crush enemies quite quickly. Reactor online. Sensors Alrighty. online. Weapons online. Awesome time! Right. This is an enemy, right? Kill him! Didn't kill him. Try again. That was the ground. Try again. What am I doing here? Ah! Need to relearn how PPCs work. Yeah, like that. And that's right. That is right. Okay, I'm gonna go for the Blood Asp. I wonder if a Blood Asp is a good mech to have. I really do. I really wonder. Down he goes. There's Galstilla. Headshot. Ah, we hit him in the head, but not enough. You're nasty, you need to go. 
me alone. Thank you. Back to Gauzilla. Why am I saying Gauzilla? Was he even running Gauzes? Uh, headshot. Oh, no. Very random. But good enough. I think we dominate the battlefield. It really feels like it. And we don't have to go anywhere. The enemies are coming to us one by one and it's like being on a shooting range. And another one. And another one, you know? That guy real quick. Then what are you? Another Annie. Are we done? Getting ECM'd. Oh, why? Who is running that? Why, why is there in, in interference now? Oh no. I'm jammed. I don't like it. I get destroyed. I might be the Black Lanner. Yeah, these guys have usually a lot of things. Counter jamming. Jamming. He's running an ECM and he has a little thing there below his name. Uh, another one. So cool that we have to. Oh, we don't have to watch our heat management at all. Because of the cold planet. Okay. Get over here. Where did he go? Huh? Oh, here are tanks. But one. Heck, Lenners, man. These skirmishers are just annoying as hell. So damn annoying. Who are you? Can you not? Thank you. Alright, try again. Down they go. So, are we, are we done? Is this it? That will be one of the fastest battlegrounds I've ever played. There might be someone hiding somewhere. Uh, this is environmental effect, so there is no real enemy there behind the hill. Hmm. Ah, there's a guy. There's another wave coming, alrighty. Then uh, prepare for impact. Brace yourselves. And that's not for my friends to say, it's for the enemies. Ah, this is not a wave, these are some stragglers. They're just random guys, not in the fight currently. So he's down, I think the Black Lander is maybe the last target. Take it out. Still scooting around in the outskirts, having just an LRM-10. By the way, this Black Lander Prime shouldn't be working. He has so many large lasers. Way too much weight for a Black Lander. These should be small lasers. Unless this is a special variant that you can overload. Headshot, let's see. Like, yeah. Center torso, good enough. Oh, I attracted fire. And again. I have the target. Help me out, friends. Come on! There we go, finally! More hammer. More like no hammer. And the last guy is the Mad Cat, the Savage Wolf. And that's it. Game was lagging for a second and that's the indicator that we can go home. I mean, isn't that a great mission? There's so much stuff, so much action going on from the minute one. And um, yeah, we, we just aced it like a boss. Here's a Clan XL engine, all right. Um, I mean, I have another one. See, the thing about the Bladasp is, it's an Omni-Mac. You can put so many, so many different weapon systems on the Mac. It's high hard points as well. So these big, big shoulder hard points. Ah, could be really good for sniping. I am not really sure. Let's take a look at weapons. I'm also half tempted to build another Dire Wolf. It also seems like they have the appropriate amount of hard points now. It was a bit of an update. We see a hike 20. That's a good ATM towel. Hmm. I will finally build my Savage Wolf. I just want to see that thing. Alright. Uh, engine core 375. He's good. Here's Endo Steel. Love to see it. Pretty good. So we have 13 more picks. 
13 is... It's what? None of these things matter. I would maybe settle for an SRM. And, uh, hmm. We pick ammo here. I think we can find ammo in the stores. We just have to look for it. Yeah, that's it. So, 13 picks, you say. I could take a hack 20. What else is there? Another Savage Wolf part? Ah. ETM 9? Built upon it? Like, combining them? Not really. Really torn. I don't know what to take here. I wish I had another one. I would totally pick a Hunchback. Which we should probably do, honestly, to get... No, we can pick Endo here directly. So, no, we don't need to. Yeah, it's uh, it's hard. Really hard. Uh, I need to make a decision. Let's do it. Uh, yeah, medium. Sure. And another one. Fine. We'll take those. So. Now it's getting interesting, guys. Now it's getting really interesting. Because now... Uh, we wanted to play the exploration as well, right? Ah. Uh, okay. I will rebuild the Atlas. Also, there's fire in the sky now. I don't know why. It's a little bit of a bug, but I like it. We're gonna make a cut for today. I hope you liked the episode. Next time, we will play the exploration mission, and then we're gonna upgrade our max. We built a Savage Wolf. There's so much stuff to come. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel, guys, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.